Okay, so let's speak about uh, sound intensity acquisition. So here we have uh, the probe with two microphones and we have the, the cable going through two BNCs. The, um, they are plugged on the input one and the input two of the ana Oros analyzer. Here we are using an OR35 uh, Tearmark analyzer with 10 channels. And we are using the sound intensity solution on the computer. We also have um, a USB here from the probe to the computer to control remotely the measurement. For the measurement, we use a rotating machine with uh, one uh, electric motor and one gear here. And we made a grid at the top to define all the steps, every step of our measurement. Okay, so regarding the probe, we have here we can see the two microphones here and here. And between them, we have the spacer. Uh, this one is a small spacer for, to measure high frequencies and if we want we can also use a larger spacer like this and thanks to that we'll measure lower frequencies. And then we have also the probe um, to control remotely the measurement. We have the start button, the stop button and thanks to these two buttons we can also accept or reject the measurements. Okay, let's uh, start with the, the acquisition. Uh, so we we'll use the probe and on the machine, we will make the measurement of the three first sample. We can see here on the solution that we selected the first sample and automatically it will switch from the first one to the second and from the second to the third one for each measurement. Here you can see the duration of the measurement also. Uh, so here we make 10 second measurement. And you can also have uh, intensity value here during the measurement. Let's start. Okay, so here I accept the first measurement thanks to the start button. It switch open automatically on the second sample and I start the second one. Same. I accept with the start button, we switch to the third sample and I do the third sample. Okay, so here we made the three first measurements. We can see that for the first sample we had 78.4 dB in intensity. For the second one we got 78.7 and for the third one we got 79.2. Here we have the octave also for the octave result for this measurement. And now we have to uh, complete the measurement with all the other samples to make then the analysis.